Hi, this is Tarasuna from Just Love Japan. Today, I just want to feature one, uh, another one, you know, a couple of box sets, uh, which I think are um, very interesting, you know. Um, these are the box sets, you know. Yeah, you can see shiny <laughs> thing, the boxes. And these are the um, Miles Davis story volume one and two and three LP box set volume one three LPs volume two three LPs and I should say that uh, you know the concept itself is not that uh, unique you know just a compilation album for the or let's say the the best track album you know for the Miles Davis uh, in the early miles and uh, the later miles but the unique thing is that um, if you look at this you know volume one you know this one the gold thing the gold box set three LPs um, was produced and manufactured by the Victor Music Japan as you know the Victor Music um, you know had a license for the prestige recordings at that time and by the way you know these two box sets were uh, manufactured and a reissue um, not, not I cannot say the reissue but you know uh, manufactured and sold in 1972 here in Japan long time ago and uh, let's say you know this one volume one was manufactured with Victor Music Japan because you know all the tracks present here by the miles uh, is the prestige recordings yes so the that's volume one and the volume two here the silver box set is um, CBS Sony you know because the tracks present here in the volume two are the Columbia era tracks, right? And the CV Sony in the night, uh, sorry, in the 70s, you know, had a license for the Columbia, right? So that's why that, that's that's the unique point, you know. You know, volume one and two were released by the different companies, music companies, you know, which I think is. A very unique at the same time you know it's almost like you know impossible because you know these are the Victor Music Japan and CV Sony um, Japan were both in you know, the competitors uh, on the same ground so you know teaming up teaming up together is I think you know is almost like uh, you know impossible but you know they did it so that's why if you look at the um, you know the line notes here inside the book set um, were written by the one of the legendary jazz critics here in Japan, the late Mr. Hisamitsu Noguchi, and uh, he just you know started saying that you know this is unusual, and uh, he just uh, salute those two companies, Victor Music Japan and CV Sony Japan, to team up with. You know, releasing this great, great uh, Miles Davis uh, box sets. Yeah. So that's the thing. That's one thing I think is very, very unique. And um, I should say that uh, the tracks present uh, in the, you know, volume one and two here are not that, um, you know, rare tracks already, you know, released in the original albums like um, in the Prestige albums by the Miles and also the Columbia albums by the Miles. So there isn't much you know, uniqueness in that. But um, you know, I will show you. This is another thing which I think is very, very unique. Is if you, you know, this is volume one and volume two. If you put these two boxes together like this, you see, yeah, you can make the whole Miles 
face, right? <laughs> yeah, volume two, volume one. Yeah. So that's another thing which I think is very, very unique. Yeah, that's a trivia thing, but you know, it's very funny and unique. And if you look at the boxes themselves, yeah, you know, th these boxes, um, these particular copies are damaged, you know, uh, at the edges and uh, some scarves, you know, damages, uh, the rest. But, you know, gorgeous. Yeah, let me tell you, gorgeous. And also, in each volume, um, there are 24, you know, 24 uh, let me show you the volume one you know by the way you know if you just um you know take out the box in a box anyway this is damaged you know yeah because of the ages but anyway there is in a box like this you know gold and the volume two silver which is very beautiful you know gorgeous and um inside this you know in a box of course, the LPs are there, and uh, at the same time, um, 24, as I said, 24 um, page booklet, you know, very, <laughs> very gorgeous, very gorgeous, you know, and uh, they use the very high quality and a thick paper, it's not like, you know, thin paper, you know, the cheap thin paper, no, very matte, thick and high quality paper yeah and 24 pages and uh, inside these um, you know 24 pages they are yeah, most of them are in Japanese sorry but you know starting with this the page one the Miles Davis in autograph is there and uh, if you open it like this you know the whole My Miles Davis um, you know face is there and um, uh, many pictures, you know, like this, yeah, and also the <laughs> the history of Miles albums like this, yeah. Anyway, very interesting, and also with this, you know, particular book set that I got, uh, the previous owner, I don't know where he got them, but you know, uh, included very rare photo postcards by the Myers and um, you know these photos were taken by the you know legendary jazz photographer here in Japan called Mr. Kazuki Abe you know he his um uh, he he passed away you know many years ago but you know he was very, very f famous, you know, for the jazz, you know, photographing. Because, you know, when, whenever a jazz giant, you know, came to Japan, you know, he's the one taking the pictures, of course, including the Miles Davis, of course, you know, the Art Blakey and the rest of the jazz giants, you know, who came to uh, Theronius Monk and, uh, and the rest, you know, who came to Japan. Of course, Sonny Rollins and, uh, and, uh, and the others. So he's very, very famous. And um, I think, you know, he's the only one, you know, specialized in jazz photography. And his, his pictures are very, you know, gorgeous. You know, I, I love the, you know, his pictures. Uh, and I think, you know, he, he's, he was also a designer for the jazz records. So, yeah, very good, you know, not for sale, jazz uh Photo postcards <laughs> are there in a volume one and a volume two. Yes, so that's it. I don't know whether you know these box sets. Yeah, I rarely, you know, get these box sets. Maybe this is my third time, I think, you know. Yeah, the original ones had obis, yeah, on top of the box, but these particular copies don't have the obi, but and damaged, of course. I mean, the boxes are damaged, but it's very rare. Nowadays, you don't get them, you know, easily. So, that's it. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a very unique approach that they did in the 1972, you know. Yeah, it's very unique. And the design here, 
Maybe Mr. Abe you know, designed this yeah, concept. Maybe. I don't know. Because there is no um, concrete information about that, you know. But anyway, uh, these boxes are rare and um, I love them, you know. The trucks are just ordinary, but you know, the box sets are very rare. And um, I should say, this is a kind of, you know, collector's item for you to get. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you like it. And always, always, you know, I just keep praying for you guys to be safe and healthy. And let's get on with the jazz music we love. So until next time, thank you. And bye-bye.